there, Simplifiers. Welcome to day number 25 of the Savvy Sexy Social video every day in August to letter U, which is for undermining in the organizing ABCs and to the first day of kindergarten for my biggest little, but I digress. Implementing a new organizing strategy in your home or at an office can be a little difficult for those people around you to accept. When I first started working as a professional organizer, I got a call from a woman whose husband had actually encouraged her to call me. He felt like she needed some help going through stuff because it was just way too much stuff for her to go through on her own. And she, with two kids at home, she just didn't have a lot of extra time on her hands to do it. So we started working together one day and we worked for about four hours really combing through some of the outgrown toys and outgrown clothes and things in their house that they just really didn't need anymore. We wrote down all of the donations, we bagged it all up, we put it out in the garage so that it could be taken to the donation site. And the next week when I came, I noticed that almost half of those items had made their way back into the home. Because the husband came home and said, well, don't get rid of this, and don't get rid of this, and you can't get rid of this, and this is too meaningful. So the wife had made a lot of really great progress on getting through the stuff that her husband wanted her to get through, but he undermined our whole organizing project by coming home and pulling things out and making her question the decisions that she had made. And when people start questioning decisions you're making when you're trying to get organized, I parallel that to somebody bringing home fast food when you are trying to go on a diet. Even though you have made your desires to eat healthier or lose weight known to the people in your family, they may not realize that they're sabotaging you by bringing things that go against what you're trying to do into your home. So I recommend that you sit down with your family or with your office and tell them why it's important for you to get organized. Do you feel like you're drowning in stuff? Do you feel like you've accumulated a lot of debt due to late payments on bills? Do you feel like you're throwing away food all the time? because you have so many cupboards and storage places and food in your basement and in your garage that you're never going to eat it all? Do you feel like you need a break as a mom because you're doing everything yourself and you need your family to help get on board and to help decrease the amount of stuff that's in your home? If you don't feel like your desire to get organized is being heard by your family or by your coworkers, maybe you should bring in a professional. Sometimes having that professional mediator will make it seem less like you're accusing people of aiding and abetting your disorganization and more like, hey, I believe that we need to do this so much that I am willing to bring in an expert to make sure that we do it right. If you're looking for an organizer, I recommend checking out napo.net, which is the National Association of Productivity and Organizing Professionals. There, you can find an organizer that is in your area that can help you with any sort of organizing challenges that you're having. Or if you just have a couple of questions about getting started or talking to your family that you feel like I could help you with, please feel free to comment below, or if you want it to be a little bit more private, my email address is in the description, and you can send me an email there with your questions. As always, happy organizing, stay simple, and I will see you back here tomorrow when we talk about one of my favorite organizing ideas. V is for vertical space.